Hey guys, Camille from Surviving the Badge here <clears throat> with a horrible, horrible video that I'm sure everybody in the country has just seen. So let's let's look at it and talk about it and and hopefully we can get to some conclusions in this. <laughs> All right, so I'm sure everybody saw the video that was released Friday night on Tyree Nichols. And if you haven't, you really should go look at it. It's, it's very disturbing, and it's something that will haunt law enforcement for a very long time, just like the Rodney King did for, for decades. If you don't know, Tyree Nichols was apparently driving in Memphis in uh, the wrong lane of traffic and uh, according to officers, he was traveling in uh, towards income oncoming traffic. They conducted a traffic stop. They pulled him out of the car and they were trying to cuff him. There were several officers and um, it just went all to hell from the very beginning. Now, sometimes people will resist. Sometimes people will do some passive resistance, which is passive resistance essentially is not complying. Maybe you lock up. You're not putting your hands behind your back. Um, and that, that appears to be what it might have been that was going on. And you've got three or four officers, large uh, Memphis police officers, and they are trying to, they're yelling at him, cussing at him, being extremely unprofessional, trying to get him to get his hands behind his back. Which, if he's under arrest, that's what you should do. But it was almost like they were in all go mode and they had just stopped using using reason. And they should have or somebody should have stepped back and said, All right, well, and if you look at the video, you can see he's kind of in an awkward position. And instead of somebody saying, okay, hold on, let's, let's position him so he can, can go on his stomach and so we can handcuff him, it was just a lot of yelling and cussing and, and um, there was some contact, it looked like there was some contact uh, taser blows and um, pepper spray. Now, all you officers out there who's been pepper sprayed, you know exactly what I'm going to say. When you are in a fight, do not pepper spray somebody if it's if, if especially if it's you and a bunch of fellas because guess what you pepper spray one you pepper spray them all and you can see that in the video <clears throat> that all of the officers or most of the officers if not all of them are also pepper sprayed so they pepper spray this guy and they're just just it's it's like they went from zero to a hundred when they should have adjusted their response accordingly they should have Grabbing his le grabbed his legs, turned him over, grabbed his hands, put them together, cuff him. And that's not what happened. So he gets, uh, looks like it was a contact, blow, um, uh, contact stun with the uh, taser and pepper sprayed. He's able to get up. These four guys let him up. For whatever reason, he takes off. <laughs> and they try to taser him again. He, I guess it, it doesn't work because he takes off. They catch up with him a little bit farther down the road, and this is where it gets, well, it, it was bad before, but this is where it gets really bad again. And understand that this is a small dude. This is a small guy. These are four or five large, well-built police officers, young, and they should have been able to control this guy with the right tactics. And, and and what I saw here was a combination of things. It was a combination of not being able to de-escalate. It was a combination of not being able to control the suspect properly, whether it's through jujitsu or just maneuvering him or everybody just slowing down and say, okay, I got his legs, let's do this. Um, and, and positioning him into the proper cuffing position. That didn't happen. So at the second location, they sprayed him again and their fellow officers. They um, started hitting him with an asp. And one guy comes up, one of the officers comes up with an asp, and they all disengage. And it's like, well, you already had him. P 
put him on his stomach. He's a small dude. You could have probably wrapped him up like a like a taco. Put him his arms behind his back, grab his legs, put him into position, and and take care of business. But no, they disengage. He takes a couple of strikes from the ass. They reengage. There's another officer that comes up and just kicks him right in the face. Um, I was counting the, the kicks and it, um, let's see, it was, it, was a, it was a few kicks to the face. It's kind of blurry. It's the, uh, I don't know if it's a pole cam or what. And then he finally gets up again. And, and you got to think about this. This is a natural reaction. You're getting beat. Your eyes are watering. Your face is on fire. People are yelling at you. You're not thinking correctly. He's, he's not going to say, okay officers let me just put my hands behind my back no it's a natural response to get away from the pain and they did not realize that and there's videos out there there's a a video um uh from marion county that were happened and he's he he's trying to protect himself from the blows and they're thinking he's resisting where he's getting need in the in the ribs and he's wincing and that's not resisting that's a natural reaction to getting need in the ribs so you have to be able to adjust you have to you can't just see red you have to be able to adjust you have to be able to see what's actually going on and at one point another officer he's up and they're holding him and another officer comes along and punches this guy um in in the face in the head like five times and you see his head just rock back um it's just a it's it's a it's like i said it's a little dude and five big guys and this is i i was with cops all weekend and i've been talking to cops blowing up my phone and and texting and this just eats us up i mean and it should eat everybody up um this is lack of training this is lack of proper de-escalation proper hands-on training 99 percent of all fights go to the ground and we need to teach ground fighting proper ground fighting and grappling so that we can secure these people this is ugly this is bad this is a bad bad scar on law enforcement and we will be and and my friends i know and the vast majority of if not all police officers in the entire country if not the world sees this as a a horrible horrible event it's just a really really poor example of what happens when you um, have poor training and lack of professionalism we need to really step up the the training the professionalism the ground fighting and um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about this horrible horrible video that just came out and please be safe out there um, it's gonna tensions are gonna be super high upcoming so please please be careful um, let me know in the comments what you think about this case. What do you think happened? Where do you think it went wrong? Um, and please, as always, please like and subscribe and um, patronize our sponsors. And until next time, I'm Camille with Surviving the Badge.